Hi everyone, it's Master Wong here. Now some of you out there asking me about how to overcome fear. Today I got my friend here, Dr. John. Okay, he will explain a little bit more about because he study a lot of this mindset about fear and about all these things. He will explain to you how to overcome fear. Dr. John, explain to him a little bit about, um, about yourself first. Sure. So hi, my name is Dr. John Shuizen, and um, I'm based in Oxford. And I've been doing martial arts since 1993. And I've trained in a lot of different disciplines, but a lot of it is all about how you can compose yourself under pressure. So I've trained members of the public services, that's police, um, armed forces, fire service, and even security operatives. And um, at the moment, I'm the sports psychologist for the Saudi Arabian National Taekwondo team. So a lot of that is how you can remain calm in dangerous situations. So that's what I'm going to be talking to you about today. Uh, now, fear is very much, um, it's like um, when we're faced with a very dangerous situation, it's a, it could be dangerous or it could be... Um, something you don't know. Yeah, something you don't know. It could be exam results, or I'm about, about to take an exam, or I'm about to ask a girl out on a date. So our bodies clench up like this. Okay, and now we're in danger. And what happens is we don't breathe the way we do when we're relaxed. So if I, for you, for you at home, I would like you to examine how you breathe right now. I, I imagine you're probably sat at home, sat at, sat at your computer watching this video. And you're nice and relaxed and you're not even thinking about how you breathe. It's nice and slow and it's nice and unlabored. Now suddenly, danger. And then stop like, breathing. Yeah, you're like this, you clench up, okay? And you're like, like this. So all those years of training, if you can't breathe, it's useless. So it's knowing how to breathe. So if you can return your breathing back to what it is when you're relaxed, you will be able to handle yourself under pressure. Now, if you can handle yourself, you will have an impact over the outcome of the situation. How come somebody, a lot of time when a lot of people out there are asking on a question, like, they get a lot of time when a situation arrives, they're like it's shaky, you know, they're like it's shaky, and their stomach got like, like really feel sick, they don't yeah. feel well. How, why, why this kind of thing happened to them? Why, why it's happened? It's all about your nervous system and your sympathetic nervous system. So that's fight or flight. We feel sick because, you know, when there's danger, if we've just eaten something our, and there's danger, our brains disengage the stomach. Right. That's why we feel sick. We, our hands get clammy, we start getting all jittery, and uh, you know, we're like, oh, what do I do, what do I do? And we start doing this. And you, you've seen the advert, you're not you when you're hungry. Right. So what you do, you eat, and that's what makes you feel better. You're not you when you're nervous. Right. So what the body needs is air. So if you can really fill your lungs with air, it returns your physical faculties back to you and as well as your mental capacity so it's like um, you get security guards in like you know some fight has just kicked off in the, um, in, club. the yeah, in the club or in a smoking area yeah. and you're like okay deep breaths let's go deal with it now you're training you've trained to, to deal, deal with, with the situation it. now what you have to do is regulate your breathing so that you can actually go and handle the situation right so what about if somebody um, engage in the combat okay and they're, they're training that all the time, breathing, training. Because you don't breathe, you can't train anyway. So certainly, if something, something like that happened, and they're stop breathing, why, why do they stop breathing? Why, why, why does that happen? You know, it, a lot of it is, um, if, I'm, if you and me are fighting, I might have my own agenda. I have a game plan. Right. My plan is to do this, 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 and this. Right. But then it doesn't work. Right. If it doesn't work, uh-oh, uh-oh, fear. Okay, this is not working. Now, right. I'm, now, okay, now I'm a bit nervous. So everything that I train for, if maybe I do a few combinations on you and, and it don't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, now I'm back to square one. Now what about my training? Okay, ugh. now you're coming towards me. I haven't prepared for this. Boom 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 boom. And you start clenching up again. Then you start getting a bit nervous and then then you're able to beat me more easily because I've already defeated myself because I've lost. I've, you know, I'm not breathing anymore. Right. If I stay calm. It's a completely different game. And I think a calm martial artist is, um, oh, I, I think they go hand in hand. You know, if you get a fighter that's overly aggressive, you know, eventually they run out of breathing and, and then someone who's got better fitness in them, or someone who can overcome breathe better, them. they can over overcome them. So what do you advise if somebody asks you for this question, what is three thing, few key things that they need to learn to overcome this, to understand? What is the three thing you can give them some tip on it? Well, first thing is um, to stay safe, I would say, is, um, you know what? 
keep your awareness about you, okay? Awareness is your best friend. You know, making sure you, you are aware of who's around you and what's about. Uh, also, knowing how to regulate your breathing. <sighs> Learning how to just control how you breathe, so, so you breathe the way you do when you're relaxed. So this lesson now started out home. Learn to show them one nice breathing. Yeah. So, can you tell them to breathe deep, deep in, yeah, Absolutely. and then nicely breathe down. Is it breathe down from the chest or down in? You know what? Down. All the way, all way down. And then just regulate them. So if if somebody wants to learn this kind of breathing, how many that need to do in to make themselves feel calm again? Five breathing breath or as long, long as it takes. As long as it takes. You want to really exaggerate the breathing as well. So you know, if I'm in, if I'm doing a security job and it's actually very dangerous, you know, what it looks like to my face when there's danger is, all right, fine, let's let's go do it. It looks like it looks as if I'm fed up of it, but when in actual fact, I'm calming myself down. Now, um, you can do all the physical training in the world. However, if you can't breathe, then it's Problem. useless, it's useless, you know. It's like, um, so if I'm holding this stance, you know, the strong one in training, it's like this. No, suddenly I'm nervous, shaking now, okay. I'm not breathing, I'm clenching up. My, I'm, a big, I, I'm a big guy, I weigh 17 and a half stones. I, my body needs a lot of oxygen. So I need to make sure that I'm breathing right, you know. So if you're small, it doesn't matter. It, 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 I think the most important thing is that you take in those deep breaths and you're very aware of what's happening around you. And only then will your training come in, into place. So that's what is it. I got my friend here, Dr. John here, and he will doing more. I will ask more questions. Did you want to ask any more questions at this ask? And I will ask him to answer some of the questions. Now, do you understand fighting? It's different, okay? And it will be and everything else take so many in consider and skill of you when you apply to it, okay? Now, when you start to worry, you shit yourself, this is very natural because your training don't kick in, yeah. don't planning for this situation. So that's what is it. So if you like this kind of thing here, then subscribe to me before the enemy do. Otherwise, you fear and they're gonna go around you and mess you up. So, anything else to say? No, thank you very much. Thank you, Master One. Easy man, and take it easy, and we'll put some info, more information about this. Out, people.